Welcome and to the fall season right here at TJ Ribs on Acadia tonight. 10. It is finally here, the fall season. The All the off season is off. It's time for all the sports of the fall to happen, and we're going to talk about it today. No question about that. It's the Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks, a closer look at Jaguar Athletics. We're right here from TJ Ribs, home of the world's famous ribs. And, uh, of course, Roman Banks, you and I, they might as well call that uh, maybe the Chris and uh, Coach Banks ribs because we're all here all the time eating. Uh, you know, to grab lunch, we always stop here. So uh, mm-hmm. I like the St. Louis ribs, though. You yes, like the baby backs. I like the baby back. I like St. I, I Louis. I want my baby back. So, uh, <laughs> I got a St. Louis over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got so much stuff coming up at Southern University. We're going to talk about the games coming up as well. Uh, but we're still doing the uh, gold helmet campaign that St- is going on right now, right? Still have the gold helmet campaign going on. Actually, uh, Dr. Shields, our uh, new president, chancellor, his First, his second day bought a helmet. Oh, <laughs> he wow. jumped right into the campaign, and after that, shortly we had two or three motor to go online, and so we're excited about our helmet campaign. And uh, I think that uh, you knowing Coach Dooley, you never know what other helmet campaign is going to come. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly right. You're going to open the this uh, season with a, um, a prayer breakfast. Tell us about that. Yeah. So our first annual uh, convocation uh, slash prayer bref- breakfast. I just think that it's very important for uh, the university and the athletic department as leaders to make sure that we're getting all our student athletes the opportunity to be successful. Obviously, I have my own personal convictions, and I'm sure everyone does too, and we don't want to push nothing on on anyone. But I thought it was important for us to get up early that morning, uh, grab a little uh, down in the South, Greek and Ed's together, all the student athletes and the coaches, and to be inspired by one of our own, uh, Pastor uh, Danny Donison of the Rose Hill Baptist Church. And uh, we had uh, good singing as well. And so that's something that we started uh, to make sure with all the challenges we have going on, we just want to feed our souls a little bit. No question about that. Of course, uh, we've got uh, Jaguar Den tickets available as well as season tickets, I'm assuming, still available as well. Yeah, season tickets are going well. Uh, And in the den, so you're talking about two different things right right now. And so uh, we're looking forward to everyone. We know it might be a little rainy, but uh, we play football in the rain, right? That's right. And so we're excited about this upcoming weekend. And our Jaguar den is the field level experience. Uh, You can go on our social media uh, sites and and see that experience. is very nice. You can buy a ticket under the scoreboard, watch the game, uh, be able to to, – uh, eat good food and kind of tailgate while you're watching the game. And so that's the newest experience. And, and obviously, we get a lot of groups to call us about that experience. And so we have Greeks and church groups and a lot of groups, uh, a lot of peop- teacher groups and all those people are calling about wanting to get in that and th- have that experience. And so they can call the ticket office. Uh, they can reach out uh, to, uh, I call his name a lot, Mr. Marlon Hollins, uh, mm-hmm. and make sure that uh, they can get those tickets. No question about that. Got some big things coming up, big events, of course, as the fall begins. Uh, we start with football this Saturday, September the 3rd. It's the Pete Richardson Classic at A.W. Mumford Stadium on the Pete Richardson Field, and uh, that's going to be a game against Florida Memorial, and uh, we want to thank Visit Baton Rouge. They've been the first corporate sponsor of that game. Paul Ringo is here. We're going to have him on the show uh, coming up. Ruby Slippers also involved the mayor's office with Safe Hope Healthy Initiative going on. Uh, we thank all of those great sponsors for uh, sponsoring this big. Pete Richardson, can you believe it's going to be the fifth game in this series already? Yeah, time really flies, right? Wow. And, uh, and But we will finally have the unveiling of his name uh, on the turf. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we've, we're excited about that and, and, and giving honor where honor is due. I think he really deserves that. Uh, we know that he's a statement in, in Southern University athletics, particularly in football. And so we're going to uh, continue that tradition. And, uh, you know, we're excited that this time is here. Uh, you know, it's football time. We know that's a religion here in the South. <laughs> and so uh, we're looking forward to it. And, and, and also, I don't want to miss out that we still have, and I know we're going to touch on it here shortly, but 
you know, all our fall sports going on, and, right. we, and we're excited about all of it. We off and running and seem to be going in the right direction. No question about that. Of course, next Saturday, everybody's already talking about it. There's parties going on like crazy. I, I was watching TV the other day. They're having the cat fight going on. They said Southern and LSU. That's going to be a big game, a historic game. Next uh, weekend at Tiger Stadium, uh, LSU game. Coach, how long did it take for that game? How long back did they start talking to you about doing this game? Uh, it's, it, this game, we started talking about it about four years ago, four oh, wow. and a half years ago. Obviously, you know, most people's schedules are... Uh, especially at that level, four to five to ten years out and just plugging the game or two. But we've been talking about this for a long time, and uh, we're excited about the opportunity uh, uh, on that next Saturday. But it, uh, I want, in the words of Coach, uh, you know, we're going to take this first one, one first and talk about this one. One game at a time. That's that and old coaching in me as well, right? That's right. And then also, too, I was, I was, I was told by Jim Kleinpeter from the uh, Baton Rouge Morning Advocate. He talked to Verge Osbury. Verge says, out of all the LSU games, he does all the tickets and all that, I mean, all the uh, schedules and all that. He said, of all the games, Alabama coming and all those other games coming, the most ticket request he gets is for the LSU Southern game. Yeah, so I think uh, I had a, was talking with Verge uh, last week, and we kind of doing our ops meeting, and obviously this game is right up there with the Alabama game yep. for its sales. And so I, I guarantee you that it won't be a seat in the place. We, we've been calling, trying to get more tickets, and it's a good problem to have from an athletic yeah. department standpoint, but there aren't any more. And so right. uh, we're excited about that. And uh, when that time comes, we'll be ready. No question about that. All right, soccer going on big. They're playing right now against the McNeese State uh, Lady uh, Cowgirls. Also, uh, Southeastern is going to be in Hammond. Now, they're going to be the first game at A.W. Mumford Stadium. Uh, that's going to be Louisiana Christian this Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday. Uh, so, you know, uh, stay overnight in Mumford Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, exactly they right. Stand, they're playing in the stadium this year, so we're excited about that. And obviously – uh, they went on the road their first game and got a win at Nichols. Mm -hmm. And um, I think the second game against uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, we come right back around. North Dakota turned right back around and had a tie. So, uh, you know, we haven't won a season opener, I think, in probably about 10 years. And wow. so we're excited about that. All right, September 6th, ULM also uh, at Southern, and LSU Alexandria will be at Southern on September 15th. And volleyball, they're all on the road coming up. We got the Nickel State on uh, September 2nd, also Southern Illinois. On September the 3rd will be at University of California, San Diego. Uh, on the uh, 8th will be New Orleans. On the 9th, Lamar. And on the uh, also on the 9th will be Western Illinois. Cross Country will be uh, in uh, taking on New Orleans, UNO, on September 3rd. LSU, September 17th and Arkansas on September 30th. Hey, speaking of uh, events going on, we've got uh, two ways you can win tickets here today. TJ Ribs giving away four tickets today and Coca-Cola giving away two tickets as well. When we come back, we're talking football. Coach Eric Dooley joins us right here on the set as we'll find out how the uh, Jags have done this fall camp. When we return right here, it's the Overtime Show with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics from TJ Ribs right here on Pelican Sports TV. Let's go, Jags. Are you interested in a college major with numerous career opportunities? Look no further than the Southern University College of Agricultural, Family, and Consumer Sciences. Agriculture is more than working on a farm. Our students are gaining hands-on experience and conducting cutting-edge research in the areas of agricultural sciences, family and consumer sciences, and urban forestry and natural resources. Our students also participate in internships and travel to national conferences. Our student organizations include students from diverse backgrounds with close bonds. These organizations provide our students with leadership and personal development skills needed to help them gain employment with top industry leaders. If you're not sure what you want to major in at Southern University, I encourage you to try AG. For more information about the College of Agricultural, Family, and Consumer Sciences, visit our website at www.suagcenter.com or call 225-771-2242. We're a nation of hardworking Americans, and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. 
In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton and Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton and Fouget today. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score. Because we've got the food covered. With hand-battered, cooked-to-order, always fresh, never, ever frozen chicken fingers. Craveable cane sauce. Crispy crinkle cut fries and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. Official Chicken of Southern University. Woo I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill, the rhythm of Louisiana. Hey y'all, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore our state. Fill her up, then try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab the family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways. Louisiana's a trip. Take one today. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. Introducing new fast play games from the lottery. Play in between, went up to $1,000. If you like bingo, play Black Cherry Bingo, went up to $5,500. Pick up Super 7's, top prize $7,777. Touchdown, play Saints, went up to $25,000. It's all about cash. Play $50,000 cash extravaganza. Play the fast play games from the lottery. All right, welcome back, everybody, right here as we get ready for uh, the game, big game this week, the Pete Richardson Classic. Hard to believe it is going to be the fifth game this uh, year. Uh, that's crazy. The fifth game. Uh, that's crazy. Southern is 3-1 and one in that uh, in that Pete Richardson Classic, you uh, were under Coach Pete Richardson for all of those years, and uh, 1997 to 2010, 160 games as a head as a assistant coach. Did you know it was that many uh, games? I did, and when you uh, brought that to the attention the other day, I, I was surprised. Yeah. Uh, but that's what happened when you coach up under a legend; you're going to win a lot of football games. Yeah. No question, and that's what happened. And I, I, I told you, you and I, uh, when I did sideline, I started sideline 01 and 02 season and then went to the play-by-play -play booth, and uh, we're standing on that field, uh, myself, you, Coach Pete, all in uh, about ankle deep of water when it would rain like that. <laughs> now it's got a beautiful field, and it's going to be named after him. It's already been named after him last year, but now you're going to see it on the field coming up this weekend. You know, I think that's very, very exciting. You know, in the past, uh, I know they would always have the Pete Richardson Classic and myself as well as uh, Coach Graves never had the opportunity to come there and uh, support it. But now to be in the midst of it, I think that's a blessing for us. Yeah, no doubt about that. That's going to be absolutely unbelievable. And he's got family coming in. And, you, of course, you guys are his family. Uh, he's going to love you all being there and what have you. I can't wait to see what his reaction of that is going to be. All right, you know, obviously new regime takes over. You, you've come over. You've got basically all new coaches. And new players, I mean, I've counted it to where it would be maybe about six returning starters. The good news is three of those returning starters are on the offensive line. Uh, they got four on offense and two on defense. And so everything is going to be brand new. A lot of new starters when I was going over looking at the, at the roster. Yeah, we, uh, we, the assistant coaches came in made a great assessment uh, going out to get the guys that would fit the system that we wanted to run. So I thought our assistant coaches did a great job of uh, getting the guys that would benefit us and help us uh, with this upcoming season. Now, obviously, new tempo. That's the one thing National Football League does. When a coach comes in and when a college player gets in the National Football League, it's time for them to adapt because of the speed of practice. Not just the game, but practice. No jogging back at, at, in the practice, getting back into the huddle. You've got to run to get back there. And you've, up, you've moved the uh, tempo up 
So how did you feel your team has adapted to that? Well, you know, the 15 days that we had during the spring, it was, it was an adjustment that they had to make. But you can tell throughout the uh, – from the summer, our strength and conditioning coach did a great job getting those guys in condition. And then they knew what to expect. So uh, by the time they got to the fall, I mean, those guys was excited about the type of uh, offense and defense we was running. So uh, it was much easier in the fall. Defense is easier to get, obviously, than offense. Offense, you've got a, a playbook, a big, thick playbook. How do you feel your offense is done adapting to the new uh, playbook? Well, I, th I thought they picked up the system. Uh, when we look at our offensive scheme, uh, it's kind of complicated to defenses, but to us it's very simple. So those guys was able to pick it up and run with it, and, and now they understand it. I mean, that's, that's the day and time right now. When you're talking about playing basketball on a football field, those kids get excited about that. Florida Memorial uh, University comes into this uh, weekend's game uh, at 6 o'clock for the Pete Richardson Classic. It's going to be, of course, uh, right there at A.W. Mumford Stadium, uh, Pete Richardson Field. Uh, with that, they bring in a, a passing team. Uh, Antoine Williams last week, uh, 382 yards in passing, three touchdowns, one uh, pick. Uh, they're a passing type of uh, football team first. Yeah, um, they're going to bring in a side and brand. I, I had an opportunity to look at some of those guys from the last year team, and I knew that those guys would be a much – much better football team talking about they had a bunch of uh, freshmen and sophomores now those guys are uh, juniors and sophomores so uh, a more mature team and I uh, understand it's a new system but you can tell from the very first game that they picked the system up well and uh, it's going to be an exciting football game for no us. No question about that also too uh, the team comes in they had two turnovers in that ball game that they created one was an interception with five seconds left in the game to preserve the victory they won 39-34 and with that they had 532 y yards offense uh, in that football game, and 150 yards came on the ground. Well, that, that was a, a great game for those guys. Uh, you know, they won the uh, Big Cat Classic, uh, I guess the first time that had the opportunity to do that, and, mm -hmm. and to put up those many points as well as yours uh, is always a concern. So there's some things that I feel that we'll be able to do to uh, help ourselves, but uh, that's the style of offense, that's the style of defense that we play, so we should very well be accustomed to it. And all, uh, running the ball was not bad either. Uh, George Young, their uh, top running back, 25 carries, 134 yards, three touchdowns, averaged 5.4 yards, per carry well you know I thought it was uh for for both teams they had uh, some great numbers uh, but when you look at the defensive side of it you you couldn't be uh, uh pleased with that because you gave up so many yards but those guys coming in with a lot of confidence uh had a g great game last uh, week so uh, we understand uh, the magnitude of this game right here and we're just going to play uh, for 60 minutes one of the big defensive players in that game Antoine Davis Four sacks in that ball game, so four TFLs in that ball game for 25 yards. So they're going to be coming after the quarterback. Well, we we already listed him as an impact player. Uh, we do understand that. Uh, when you talk about this game right here. Uh, this is a big game for those guys, uh, no doubt about it. So they they looking to come here. Uh, play football but I'm very very encouraged about the team that we're going to put on the field as well I feel that we have done some great things throughout the spring and when you talk about this fall camp I, I, I can see the team uh, moving to another level so uh, please not satisfied but uh, uh, we're going to be able to compete no question about it Coach Graves of course is a, a special teams coordinator how do we look special team wise we've got a new field goal kicker coming in this year and a new punter as well how do they look uh, right now going through well if you know anything about Coach Graves been doing it for a long time uh, really playing uh, being a defensive coordinator as well as special team coaches it's like it's so it's so great for me to have him on the staff it's like having a, another head coach so and he and I grew here together so uh, it's great you know it's going to be exciting when it comes to special teams you just got to get there and get in the seats because you never know what he may pull out what I know you've dreamed about this I, I know you've thought about this coming out of the tunnel A.W. Mumford Stadium and getting there I mean is there going to be the butterflies what's going to be going you know in through your mind through your heart Nah, there's no butterflies. I'm just ready uh, to, 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 to bring the Jaguars to the field, uh, to do what uh, the show, to display what we've been practicing for a long time, practicing against blue and gold. So we're excited about it. Uh, I think uh, I'm very, very uh, familiar with that stadium. So uh, <laughs> there's no butterflies. Just uh, excited for the kickoff to come. Now, I got to ask you the question. Can you still do the chest bump? I know when I watch you as assistant coach, wide receiver coach at Southern University in the Pete Richardson era, uh, players would come off the uh, sideline, and you'd give them a fist bump. You'd jump up and give them the fist bump. Is there any more of that going on? No, nah, I got coaches <laughs> like uh, Devin Fossum, and I got coaches <laughs> like Jonathan Williams, uh, yeah. Robert Bailey, those guys, Dre Fusile, those guys are young and, and, and ready to go. But uh, you never know. It just depends on the excitement. 
No doubt about that. I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun, no question. We're happy to see you here. I mean, uh, everybody was excited when you got that call that you're going to be the new head coach, and I know that all your family was excited. Uh, and you're going to have family members coming down from New Orleans, probably from all over the place. Absolutely. Everyone is excited, but now it's, it's, it's go time. Now it's yep. time to play football, and, and that's what they've all been waiting for. So we're ready to put our team on the field uh, to display what we have, and we feel very, very confident. This Saturday night, 6 p.m. at A.W. Mumford Stadium on the campus of Southern University, the Pete Richardson Field. It's the Pete Richardson Classic, and, of course, we cannot wait for that big game. Uh, the kickoff will be uh, right at uh, 6 o'clock, and it'll be on the uh, JAG Sports Network, by the way. You can get on uh, gojagsports.com. You can listen to it on Q106.5 as well, as well as uh, Q106.com. Uh, uh, nationwide on the internet, so you can listen to it anywhere in the nation, anywhere in the world for that matter. Southern against Florida Memorial University this Saturday. Don't miss that game. Come to the game, buy your tickets, and hope for a big crowd at A.W. Mumford Stadium. When we come back, we're talking volleyball with Coach Vanessa uh, right here as we return. It's T.J. Ribs got the Big Cat special going on, also the Shrimp Tastic going on. Get you some of that, and we'll be back right here at uh, T.J. Ribs for the overtime show with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics right after this on Pelican Sports TV. Ouch! You really hurt yourself. Did you know there's a health clinic right here on campus just for you and all Southern University employees? That's right. Care South Medical and Dental's SU Clinic is located in the nursing school building and is ready to give you the quality and compassionate care that CareSouth is known for. If you're at work and you're not feeling well, come see us. CareSouth cares. Not going to the doctor puts you at a greater risk for such killers as heart disease, stroke, cancer, and more. Call our Lady of the Lake Physician Group today. See a doctor. Don't pass on your health. Preparing a meal, it's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food, that's our passion. A taste of Louisiana, handcrafted from scratch. Walk-ons, because everyone needs a little playing time. Home, away, any game day. At Walk-ons, we'll help you do game day right. Competition for this house is fierce. Mm -hmm. Relax. You got a team to help you out. Huddle up. You have a home buying edge. A verified approval from Rocket Mortgage verifies your income, credit, and assets all up front, putting you ahead of regular pre approval and letting sellers know you're serious. Let's do this. Brilliant. When you need a competitive edge in a crowded market, Rocket can. Hey y'all, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore our state. Fill her up, then try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab the family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways. Louisiana's a trip. Take one today. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. All right, welcome back, everybody, right here at TJ Ribs, uh, right here at Acadia 910. 
We got the shrimp tastic going on right now. We got the blue cat special for eight dollars. Uh, of course, the ribs. You can't go wrong with the ribs here at TJ Ribs. And of course, we're hosting this every other Wednesday. Uh, right here at TJ Ribs. You can watch it, of course, on uh, Pelican Sports TV. And uh, we're getting ready for all the seasons, including volleyball is here. We've had our first three games, and you got Coach coming up uh, this weekend, the, the uh, Colonel Classic over in Thibodeau, Louisiana. Yep. We are excited about that. We're yep. excited about playing Nichols again yep. and uh, Southern Illinois and then taking on UC uh, San Diego. Right. San Diego. Uh, it's going to be a great one. And then, of course, the New Orleans Invitational. Your first game at home will come on uh, September 25th. That's a Sunday, UAPB and the Golden Lions, and you start SWAC play there. That's it. That's what we've been working hard toward. So we're excited to get all of these pregame or these you know preseason tournaments out of the way um, because it, it shows us exactly where we are, what we need to work on. Um, and we've been looking at film, just helping the, our freshmen along, helping them understand, you know, the game is a lot faster than it was when they yeah. were in high school. So no doubt. getting them to play fast, play hard, be disciplined, and play the fundamentals, you know? Yeah. How, when do they start getting it uh, as a freshman? When do they start getting it? Is it halfway through the season, or what do you think? No, probably, like, they'll be nervous to come back home and play against um, – UAPB just because we're playing against out you know at home but I think they will start to get it fourth weekend like we have a number of freshmen having to step up at one point when we were playing uh, Memphis last week we had six freshmen on the court wow yeah do you have a lot of scrimmages before the season starts to kind of get them in that game mode uh, we had a scrimmage against e each other yeah you know the blue and gold game but other than that we scrimmage every day in practice um, we're working on getting some kids back. Mm -hmm. We're working on getting some kids back in um, in practice, and once we do that, we'll you know have more competition. But it's it's been fun. It's watching them grow, making better decisions um, as it pertains to on court play has been a, a, a nice added um, realm from what we've had in the past. No question about that. How do you feel your, uh, the SWAC is going to uh, be this year as far as competition goes? Um, I think it's going to be good. I think, uh, you know, there's talent across the board and how it all, you know, how we all fall out is going to depend on how consistent we are. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we're working on right now, our consistency, our communication on the court, and like giving information or calling out information as the play is going on. They're so used to being quiet and this game is not quiet, and you know me, I'm not yeah, quiet no. at all. No, 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 no. And then also, too, which, which, what's so awesome about it is as we get uh, down into the season, what have you, uh, how do you feel that your team uh, is looking so far early on in the year? You have to come to a game. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. going to a game. Like, like I, I would say, love to tell you, yes, this is what yeah. we're going to do, but until you come and experience it, mm. that's what volleyball is, and it's, it's an experience. So to come to the game and see how – energetic we are on the court how the kids are just and then the crowd so getting all of that and the cheers that we do i think you guys are going to be yeah. very pleased you got you got to go see a game like i said i plan on making some games this year i've done it every year it's the first volleyball game i ever went to was when i went and seen uh, the lady jacks play over at seymour gymnasium also too you know what i like about it is that you got you a good seat the fans got a good seat always they do they it's do. right there it's perfect deal you got a perfect seating you got to go buy your tickets to go to these games that is a lot of fun no question about that and you know what you told me that the other day was pretty cool Grambling, you can't wait to play Grambling. It's always that game. Yeah, you put you you put your, every other game you want to play and you want to compete and what have you. But when you play against the Grambling Tigers, it's like the Bayou Classic from volleyball meets right there. That is exactly what it is, and I can't wait to play them. If I could <laughs> suit up, I'm telling you right now. Oh, I bet. I can tell you what the score would be. Suit up. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Jack saying, "Suit uh, suit up." <laughs> but you know, our kids are excited to to play in the SWAC. Um, so as we're playing in preseason, we're telling our kids just, hey, listen, I don't care what their height is, how hard they hit, they hit low to the net. So all you got to do is get up and penetrate. You know, yep. you've got to penetrate the net, you got to block um, and play some defense behind them. And that's it. Like who has the confidence early? That's who's going to come out victorious. Like we started off really good against some high quality teams this weekend, this past weekend. And then we were up. 12-4, and all of a sudden, it's, they're just kind of panicked. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like you can't panic. We just got to play through it. So teach them how to play through and be consistent. And that Grambling game will be on uh, September 26th on a Monday, mm-hmm. 6 p.m. I expect to see all of the students No there. empty seats at Not all for one. that. Yeah, that ought to be a fun, fun game. That's no doubt. Again, that's a Monday, too. Uh, but lots of good home games coming up. Uh, again, uh, you play UAPB on the 25th, 26th, uh, Grambling State, as we mentioned, and on October 6th, Alcorn State, all right there in Baton Rouge. So three straight home games right there between September 25th and October 6th. Yes, and we can't wait. Yeah, no doubt about that. And uh, so, you know, I mean, you know what I always uh, am impressed by when I go to these games is the vertical leap of these athletes. My goodness, they can get up there with a block shot or a spike. My goodness, they get up there. Like, uh, you know, Fonches, Coach uh, Carlos Fonches basketball, he's going to want to recruit some of my kids. Yeah. Our kids can touch the rim. Wow. Yeah. That's I got a heck of a vertical of leap. Yeah. Oh, mo, that's oh man! I see how yeah, high they it. get up because I'm right there sometimes, right by courtside, and I'm looking at that. And I'm just amazed. Well, we're, we don't just look for the athletic kids; we look for the kids who have a high volleyball IQ. Right, right, and so. that's that's the thing. You want to have good character, good volleyball IQ, and obviously some good athletes as well. And that's what makes up the team. And you spend as much time, I'm sure, and I know you like this. They can spend more time with each other, becoming a better team. Yes. Yeah, they do. And when we're on the road, we do things um, to help cultivate that. Yep, no question about that. Coach Vanessa Jacobs, thank you. Thank you so much. And good luck for the season. Can't wait. Again, September 26th, a big grambling game at uh, uh, right here in Baton Rouge. All right, when we come back, Paula Ringo from Visit Baton Rouge is joining us right here on the set. A big sponsor, corporate sponsor for Southern University. We'll do that when we come back right here from TJ Ribs on Acadia and I-10. This is the Overtime Series with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics right here on Pelican Sports TV. The birth of legends are storied in this conference. We must never forget our rich history. We now turn our gaze to the future. The new legends will emerge. New heroes to arise. The Southwestern Athletic Conference. Be our history. Legendary Import Group, exceptional service and a rare collection, you'll discover the only distinctive auto for the legend in you. We We are are legendary. legendary. I am legendary. I'm team legendary. I am legendary. I am legendary. Now that's legendary. Stop by Legendary Import Group today where our team is honored to serve you. We are legendary. Legendary Import Group, the only place for legendary care. I can't imagine a day without music. You go downtown, you can find some music. You come uptown, you can find some music. Monday night, they got music. Every night of the week, there's music somewhere. Baton Rouge is a place where it's easy to make friends, it's easy to hear some music, and it's easy to come back. We got the music, we got the food, and we got good people. So with that combination, you can't lose. Right? You ever come to lose it? When the needs are evident, but the solutions are not, a well-calculated design steeped in hard-earned expertise is what we've built our reputation on. Go ahead, ask us to prove it, because we'd love to. Performance is what drives us. It's how we foster a culture of expertise and informs our approach to complicated challenges. CSRS defines our client relationships by how we perform and the chemistry we build together. With a comprehensive, masterful integration of engineering and development, program management and disaster recovery, and as client advisors and planners. After more than four decades of careful, strategic growth, we have refined our multidisciplinary approach to encompass a diverse collection of services designed to revolutionize what it means to build a better community. Our legacy is easy to see. It's found in our projects, our people, and it's evident in the places our work has touched. And we've resolved to prove this legacy every single time. We are accelerators, trusted facilitators of public and private sectors, the force that imagines, designs, and builds the bedrock. 
to propel tomorrow's stronger, smarter communities. Because what we do isn't about buildings or developments or infrastructure. It's about ensuring that the parts which are fragile in the communities we call home are carefully considered and thoughtfully redesigned to be stronger and smarter for the benefit of tomorrow. The proof of who we are is all around us. So go on, ask us to prove it, because we're ready to. CSRS, building stronger, smarter communities together. All right, welcome everybody right here back to TJ Ribs. Jaguar Nation is in the house, a late arriving crowd, but almost every table is uh, taken here today all over the place, booths, tables, and what have you. We've got a good crowd here, so Jaguar Nation always shows up in a lot of numbers. We've got, speaking of showing up in numbers, this guy has been a corporate sponsor for a long time at Southern University. He is Paul Oringo. He is Visit Baton Rouge. How you doing, my friend? You know, this is a wonderful week, and it's going to be historic for the next uh, 10 days. I'm so excited about everything that's happening in Baton Rouge right and now. And you're retiring. I am retiring at the end of September, and I can tell you it has been a pleasure to work with the good folks at Southern University, both the athletics, the academics. I think we were one of the first sponsors for the Pete Richardson That's right, Classic. you were. You were. My friend, the coach, he lives down the street from me. Uh, we are a sponsor for the um, Bayou Classic in New Orleans because we recognize the value of the brand that um, Southern University and the Jaguar Nation brings to Baton Rouge. So, uh, Chris, it's been a great 20-some-odd uh, years. It really has. Wow, hard to believe. And, and you know, you're so busy because, uh, you know, even with big events that come, you want to make sure all those hotel rooms in Baton Rouge, and Baton Rouge is a, a pretty good amount of uh, uh, hotel rooms, so when people are coming from out of state, like for homecoming uh, for Southern University against Virginia Lynchburg, yeah. expect a big crowd at hotels. Well, I think what's going to happen this weekend, I think with Southern being in town and with the impact on all of the activity in New Orleans with the festival and right. the football game, I think a lot of folks from Baton Rouge are going to stay here, you know, who – who live elsewhere are going to stay here in Baton Rouge. I think we'll feel something this weekend and certainly next weekend. Uh, we're so excited about the, the two higher education universities meeting here in Baton Rouge. It'll be historic. No question about that. Will there be enough hotel rooms, you think, for that ball game? I know sometimes with New Orleans, they always say if the Saint of LSU rather plays in the Sugar Bowl, it's not going to be that many hotel rooms. Southern LSU, both, of course, here, uh, Baton Rouge. Will there be hotel rooms available for people coming out of state for that game? Yeah, I think so. I think there will be uh, there will be hotel rooms available, but obviously we're going to have a lot of folks, a lot of alum from both universities uh, here in Baton Rouge in the capital city, and it's so exciting. And I was just talking to uh, Coach Dooley and and Coach Richardson. You know, one of my first major events when I was president here in Baton Rouge of a uh, visit Baton Rouge was the Parade of Champions when we had That's both right. Southern and LSU. And both schools, both bands played on the state capitol and they had the parade and it was such a wonderful thing and so many folks came in town for that. But uh, hats off to the two universities and certainly Southern for the amount of influence that they have on making Baton Rouge what it is and Baton Rouge a marketable city. And there's so much to do in Baton Rouge. I mean, there's so many things to do. Like I said, I, I mean, I, I, I had my son at a birthday party on the USS Kid. I mean, you can have birthday parties on the USS Kid. They stay overnight with the kid. Yeah. It's a fun place. Baton Rouge got plenty of things to do. Lots of things to do all over the city, uh, you know, from, from South Baton Rouge, North Baton Rouge, downtown. Uh, is the Rural Life Museum, which is in the middle of town. Uh, so many things to do. Two beautiful campuses. None, no, no, certainly none uh, more beautiful than, uh, than the Bluffs and uh, the site of the original Red Stick. Uh, it's exciting time in Baton Rouge, and it's a time, Chris, that I'm very happy to pass the baton on to my successor, a lovely lady named Jill uh, Kidder, who will be... Uh, president who's now president of visit baton rouge it's exciting times no question about that and of course uh with that uh there, there's so many uh, obviously tailgating 
Oh. That'll be the biggest tailgate party in the world when you get Southern Jaguar Nation to tailgate over at LSU, and LSU's known for tailgating as well. I'm telling you, if you've never come over, when you're coming over the hump at Southern University, you come over that hump like that, you see the barbecue smoke, you see the big RVs and what have you. That's two iconic tailgating schools going to meet up next week. You know, I think what's going to happen, Chris, because I've been out there for the Pete Richardson Classic, and I know the I know the um, the the uh, tailgating. But you got what is Baton Rouge number one at? Number one at tailgating. And when you take the culture of tailgating at Southern, mix it with the culture of LSU, the two bands coming together. This is going to be a mixture. This is going to be a gumbo that this city has never tasted before. I hope they do it again. I hope they schedule another game five, ten years from now. Uh, yeah. I hope it's like quicker than that because I'd like to be there again. You know, but <laughs> well, I'm looking forward. I will be at next week's game here in, in Tiger Stadium, seeing the Jags play the Tigers. No question about that. What are you going to do? What are your plans? Uh, are you gonna gonna pick up golf? Gonna what are you gonna do? You know, Chris, I have absolutely no plans. I have worked uh, for fifty some odd years in this wow. business. I'm going to move on. I'm going to give free advice. If uh, if someone wants to call me and say, what do you think about this? Or, I'd like to do this to bring visitors to Baton Rouge or to my restaurant or to my hotel. I'm going to sit down. The Lord has blessed me so much, so very much with, uh, with my career and the success that my team has had with me. And it's, it's, uh, it's the world has changed. And, uh, you know, I've been doing this 50 years. It's, it's a good time to move on. Well, you've done such a great job. It's going to be weird not talking about Paul Oringo in Visit Baton Rouge. And I know you're leaving it in good hands or what have you. But I'm telling you, how hard a worker this guy is, uh, like events like Bayou Country Superfest, he handles a lot of that stuff. With the bowling tournament that came here uh, at the uh, River Center, he handled that stuff. He handles all the big events that come to the Baton Rouge area to make sure their hotel rooms, when people want to bring conventions or they want to bring big festivals here, they check with this guy right here to find out if uh, the hotels are available. And i got to tell you this with our southern group here. My two favorite conventions are the fraternities but the sororities because they got their money <laughs> and their husband's money and they spend there it. God go. bless them. God bless y'all. There you go. They and like that. They're all waving and all that stuff. Yep, that's exactly right. While the guys are going, oh, my God. Right. Oh, but, my but goodness. We, we've, we've got the bowlers coming back in 2025. And, oh, you know, wow. we, we just had 104,000 people at Tiger Stadium for Garth Brooks. So a couple of good things have happened. Yeah, one of the biggest concerts, too. It was unbelievable. Uh, showed up on the seismic uh, graph. Yes, it did. It a, uh, and it's going to happen again next weekend. Something's going right. to happen next weekend. Maybe it'll be at halftime. That'll be unbelievable. Ought to be great. Paul Oringo, you've been a great friend to uh, Southern University. Uh, again, one of the first uh, big things, Visit Baton Rouge, uh, of course, was the first big sponsor of the Pete Richardson Classic. We thank you for all the stuff you've done for uh, Southern University, my friend. Well, thank you so much. All right, Paul God Oringo, bless. ladies and gentlemen, Visit Baton Rouge. We come back. Uh, Coach uh, is back with us again, the athletic director, Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics. We have tickets to give away as well. And we've got, of course, some of the ribs uh, will be right here on display as well. Come by and see us, TJ Ribs at Acadian, every two weeks right here, every Wednesday, uh, every other Wednesday right here, beginning now, of course, on this date. Uh, we will be here August 31st starts it, and then every other Wednesday after that. We'll be back right after this timeout on Pelican Sports TV. Men can be hard-headed and put off seeing a doctor which puts you at a greater risk for a wide range of health care issues. Need a doctor? Call our Lady of the Lake Physician Group today. Go see the doctor. Don't pass on your health. Preparing a meal. It's a lot like preparing for a game. It involves hard work, the right plan, and attention to detail. Great food. That's our passion. A taste of Louisiana. Handcrafted from scratch. Walk ons, because everyone needs a little playing time. Home away any game day. At Walk Ons, we'll help you do game day right. It's game day. A day that should be spent in the living room, not the kitchen. So next game, you just worry about the score. Because we've got the food covered. With hand battered, cooked to order, always fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers. Craveable cane sauce, 
crispy crinkle cut fries, and jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. Official Chicken of Southern University. <laughs> Ready, Louisiana? Here come the Saints tickets from the Louisiana Lottery. Win up to $100,000. Play New Orleans Saints. Saints game day. And introducing Saints, the new fast play game. Enter the second chance drawings for VIP fan experiences, official autographed team merchandise, and the grand prize, a 2023 season ticket package. Play the Saints tickets from the Louisiana Lottery and make this your winning season. Competition for this house is fierce. Mm -hmm. Relax, you got a team to help you out. Huddle up. You have a home buying edge. A verified approval from Rocket Mortgage verifies your income, credit, and assets all up front, putting you ahead of regular pre-approval and letting sellers know you're serious. Let's do this. Brilliant. When you need a competitive edge in a crowded market, Rocket can. That duck is fired up. of hardworking Americans and businesses will always be the lifeline of this great country. As a business owner, you understand the importance of your reputation. In times of uncertainty, you need a real lawyer who's serious about protecting you and your business. You need a problem solver. You need the law firm of Clayton and Fouget. Tony Clayton is a proven trial lawyer. He'll defend you and your business to the fullest extent of the law. Protect your investment and call the law firm of Clayton and Fouget today. All right, welcome back, everybody, right here at uh, the TJ Ribs on Acadia and I-10. Uh, of course, uh, great ribs here, and you come by again, as we mentioned, every Wednesday. Next uh, show in two weeks from today, we'll have uh, the football on, we'll have soccer on, and also Ruby Slipper will be our sponsor uh, here on the uh, show here today. Of course, we've got the uh, Shrimp Tastic, I think, is going all year long. I don't all think I've long. had the uh, Shrimp Tastic yet. Very good. I know what table have it over there. Yeah. <laughs> every Wednesday in the house. Uh, Yes, it be. Father and son. We got tickets coming away uh, as well. Four tickets by TJ Ribs. We got two tickets uh, presented by our friends at Coca Cola. Coca Cola getting so involved. They're big sponsors of the Bayou Classic now. That's big money. Big money. Yeah, the Bayou Classic. Uh, you know, tickets on sale now. Yes, yeah, right. And uh, moving pretty well. So we're excited about that as well. Oh, we got a young lady. What's your name, sweetheart? Addison. Ashley? Addison. Addison, where are you from? What's Zachary, your, Louisiana. What's your, da what's your dad's name? Matthew, uh oh, like Cal South Medical, one of the big sponsors over there. Oh, I didn't That's see one of the big there. sponsors right there. All right, let's see. Read that name for me. Muriel Hall, is that right? Yeah, Muriel. Muriel Hall. Are you in the house? You got in it over here. What about this name right here? What about this name right here? Um, I don't. Quinlan. Mickey. 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 So here. We'll try to get this uh, right here, this this correct name. What was the first name? Uh, Muriel Hall over there. Yep, Mary Hall. And we'll try to get the second winner right here. Also, uh, we got Coca-Cola tickets. We're going to give it that way uh, here as, uh, as well. Boy, late, uh, late cr arriving crowd. we got a good crowd here at uh, TJ Ribs today. Yeah, very good crowd. So I heard you all speaking um, about hotels, and so I want everybody to know that uh, – Homecoming. We've been looking for hotels, so make sure you're going to get your hotels. I think both universities play at the same time, so make sure you find your hotel rooms. We got a couple of games that yeah. both universities are playing. Uh, we've been getting a lot of those calls, so make sure we go get hotel rooms, and uh, you can uh, put a, a lot of them on a the block. Somebody told me, is that the same LSU and uh, Southern both having their homecoming to the same Saturday? 
say I know is I know they're having the same game, and I think homecoming is is that's their homecoming as well. Oh wow! So you better get your uh, t- t- your uh, hotel rooms and what have you, because they will go quick like that. Get your hotel rooms immediately if you've got uh, family coming in uh, town. Uh, Virginia Lynchburg is our opponent. If you've got family coming in town, you want to tell them in advance uh, to get their tickets. Uh, good amount of uh, hotels in, the, in around the Baton Rouge area, whether you say Port Allen, also Denham Springs, or what have you. Yeah, and also a reminder, everybody been asking about the Arlington, Texas game against Texas Southern. Those tickets are on sale at our box office as well. Uh, that's Cowboys weekend, so uh, make sure you yep. get your tickets in Arlington, uh, get your hotels in Arlington as well. We've been getting a, a lot of calls about that also. And it's not just the Cowboys game. They're playing the Cincinnati Bengals, which is uh, the defending AFC champion team. Joe Burrow and the crew will be uh, in uh, AT&T Stadium. So there's going to be a lot of people around the Arlington, Texas area. And you got a big event going on that Friday. Yeah, so we have our first overtime that Friday. Uh, and, and the Lowe's Hotel, the overtime, uh, parted with a purpose fundraiser. Uh, we know that that uh, all, uh, Fort Worth Dallas chapter are very strong for us. They support us very well. So we're going to be bringing everyone together uh, for about three hours uh, that evening uh, to have a good time and represent ourselves well. That's right. And uh, we did the, the Coca tickets, uh, Coca-Cola tickets. So we want to basically... Um, Want to just get uh, somebody to come up here. The first person to come up here that needs tickets for the uh, Southern game this weekend. Why don't you come up to the microphone right here. If you want uh, tickets to see Southern at Florida Memorial, if you don't have your tickets and need, want someone who needs tickets, come on by here to the front, and we'll give you some tickets uh, for that game. So far, overtime series, uh, we just got through talking about Mr. Bear Lab for Care South. He's the official sponsor of all the overtime series so he paying all the bills for overtime oh wow so we to make sure we give him a hand in here he pay a lot of bills all our corporate sponsors pay a lot of bills and we're excited about it about that but he really does a lot now i keep uh, asking him the, the big question is i keep asking him if he's going to be here for that basketball game that we put on at ada at uh, fg clark activity center and he's, he always says no comment he sounds like a politician no comment no comment you huh? think you're gonna get him out we're going to have that. We're bringing that game back this year, that, uh, you know, that celebrity game. And so we're excited about that. And uh, his daughter's going to drag him out for me. Those are my girls over there. They're going to drag him out. I heard he's a pretty good three-point shot. Yeah, well, not bad. Oh, not bad. Also, speaking of Cal South, uh, for the LSU game, yep. uh, they're sponsoring our athletic uh, department tailgate. So we know that they, you got to get to that game earlier. And so uh, Southern University Athletic Department will have a huge tailgate for everyone to come hang out. Uh, sponsored by Care South, Channel 9, Coca-Cola, the mayor office, all is going to be right there having a good time. So uh, we're inviting everyone out uh, to that tailgate so you can hang out because that game is a late game. It's a 6 o'clock game. Right, right. All right, we got a young man right here. What's your name? Oh, the microphone's not turned on. Yeah, turn that microphone on. You see that at the top? There you go. Somebody forgot to turn the All microphone right. on. Is it on? Y'all can hear me? What's your name? Jason. 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 Jason? Yeah. Where are you from, Jason? I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. Why? You want two tickets for the Florida Memorial game? Yes. What school did you go to? Um, high school. Broadmoor Senior High Broadmoor? School. Yes. High school? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> HBCU made Southern University. We yes. Man yes. Say, yes. Give him his tickets. Give him his tickets. Never. Never. Regular roll. Bring the tickets. We want show tickets me the to tickets. the game. Yes. Show me That's the tickets. That's exactly right. Yeah. What is your biggest part of the game? You like it when uh, the human jukebox gets there? I love when the human jukebox is there. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And you're yeah. gonna love it when the first. Big pass down the football field with Eric Dooley style offense gets him down for that touchdown. Huh? Definitely, definitely. And the dog day D gets that big sack, fumble sack recovery return for the touchdown. All right, all right, definitely. Yes, indeed. Yeah. All right, cool deal. <laughs> Thank you, my man. We're gonna get you tickets uh, right. right after the show. Right, everybody, oh, give the give the guy a hand. Problem. Give the guy a hand. We got some uh, coaches in the house. I see Coach Funches in the house. Uh, of course, uh, he ate. He got his uh, to-go box. Got his coaching staff here as well. We've got Coach Sean Woods. Uh, Henry Baptiste always asking me if I've seen Coach Sean Woods. I ain't seen him all year long. There he is for the first time making his debut. Got Coach Vanessa Jacobs is in the house as well. Coach Pete Richardson is in the house. So popular, a name and a field is named yeah. after him. Coach Rich. Yeah. They're going to name the bathroom after me, so yeah. I don't know. You know, uh, I don't know. But uh, how big is that, Coach? I know you were a big uh, part of that renaming the Coach Pete Richardson Field. 
Yeah, so, you know, I just think that there are a lot of people that, that pay the way uh, for, for the younger coaches in this business. And, uh, and so he's definitely one, I think, that, you know, he sticks out in Southern history. And uh, I, I just think that it's time that we go back. I just noticed that when I took over, I didn't think that we was recognizing our history. And so one of my goals, uh, uh, as long as my leadership is here, is to make sure that we are pointing out people that have done great things for Southern University and let them know how much we appreciate them. No doubt about that. That man was just unbelievable. I remember we went and played in the Circle City Classic, Indianapolis, uh, right there in the next day in, in a column talked about how the importance of Coach Pete Richardson was for football. Yeah, so look, if everybody sit down and think about it, you, you put in the same era at some point, you put Ben Joe, Coach Roger Cato, and uh, Coach Pete Richardson out there and put them up. That's three coaches in Southern University history that probably uh, are statues and recognized everywhere all over the country, and, and we birthed those people. And so we need to recognize them. And right. so that's part of uh, the mission. That's part of us trying to emulate their success, try to take the tools that they gave us and use them to make our student athletes better on the field and off the field. And uh, there will be others that we're going to – there are players that, that laid that foundation uh, that we're going to recognize and that we're going to continue to do some things about. No doubt about that. 134 wins, 62 losses overall. Swag play 101 victories and 33 losses in his SWAC uh, deal and as far as championships go he of course uh, won five SWAC championships and four national championships that's amazing those are amazing stats mm -hmm. and uh so uh what coach dooley coach dooley you hear those stats <laughs> yeah coach coach dooley's like oh man you had to set the bar that high come on coach just mess up just you, once you but know and you're talking about bringing tradition back. We just uh, – we have several athletes that have uh, name, image, and likeness deals. Everybody been talking mm -hmm. about them. And they've basically been small deals as it relates to in-kind services. Uh, but we just – a small business, uh, Master's Touch. Um, you all probably know them by uh, 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 Minister Bates at, at Living Faith to have Master's Touch uh, clothing line. Uh, he just signed um, four of our student athletes to a name, image, and likeness deal worth suits and money. And so uh, he is challenging all small businesses. And so we are slowly heading in that direction. And, and there, uh, I spoke with him earlier today. He called me, and he has five more businesses that want to meet with us about sponsoring our kids. And oh, so, wow. That's so, pretty impressive. Know, it takes one to start it, and yep. so we got him, and so we're going to keep it moving. Dimitri Marcel, number 11. Uh, Kristen Davis, number 17. Jordan Lewis, number 32, one of the biggest uh, uh, players Southern has had as far as all the pre the accolades that he is getting. I mean, on the watch list for the Senior Bowl and uh, Buchanan Award and what have you, all SWAC player. Number 32, Jordan Lewis. And then number one, uh, Jason Dumas. Yeah, so, so guess what? Everybody, everybody heard those, those are the players that have the name, image, and likeness deals, but none of them play offense. They all defense. All players. defense. <laughs> now you want to talk about dog day D coming? Doing, yeah. Yep, they're going to be uh, they're going to be ready for it. No question yeah. about that. No doubt about that. All right. Of course, again, in two weeks from today, we'll have another show right here from TJ Ribs. We'll have the football team on again. The soccer team, Coach Fontenot, will be on here. Don't forget uh, this soccer this Sunday at AW Mumford Stadium. Uh, so there'll be plenty of bathrooms, concessions, and all that. It'll be fun to see that. That'll be a lot of fun. Ruby Slipper will be here as well. That is in two weeks, right here from TJ Ribs on Acadian at I -10. Tell a friend, tell a friend, let's pack this place out uh, the following Wednesday. Every other Wednesday, let's pack this place out, showing what Jaguar oh, Nation yeah. is all about. Come up, No, 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 Robert, come on out of here. We Bring got it. the Shrimp-tastic. Don't cheat us on this. We can get this on the way Look out. Bring it on up this here. This is the Shrimp-tastic. Yeah. Shrimp-tastic. Look how gorgeous that is right there. <laughs> that is unbelievable. You can smell it. Uh. Oh, man. All right. We'll catch you back here again. It's the Overtime Show with Athletic Director Roman Banks. A closer look at Jaguar Athletics right here on Pelican Sports TV. Go Jags. Let's go.